Hey everybody, it's Catherine. So I had a little uh, pause in the action that is my life. And so I thought I would take a moment and drop an extra video in here for all you guys to give you just a little extra dose of motivation and inspiration as you continue to walk through your life, right? Because the thing about grief is that life happens and life keeps going on and you have to grieve and you still need to deal with all of the things that are going on with your life. So I hope that this will serve as a little bit of hope and inspiration for you because as always, I want you to have hope I want to remind you that you are not alone and that the path to healing from grief is growth and learning and education um, about yourself and about the world. And so um, I'm continually studying um, all things related to grief so that I have more um, knowledge and information to share all with you. And I want to condense it down here so that you don't have to spend all the time um, trying to read books and and watch tons of, of long drawn out YouTube videos to get the information. So I try to condense it down. So I uh, followed some work of Dr. Susan Delaney, who gave a very nice presentation on YouTube that was about an hour and a half long uh, on grief. And I want to talk about one of the things that she touched on because I think it's, I think it's important. Um, I, as always, part of Grief Inspired is, is knowing and being sure that you can overcome your grief, that you can get through grief, and that um, grief is a process that you have to go through. It's a season in your life. It's something that doesn't last necessarily forever, um, that you can not, at least at the intensity um, that may, you may be feeling right now. But... Um, how do you know? How do you know when you've when you've healed? How do you know that you are healing? And so I think that that's important on the journey. And so there were three things that she that she talked about, and I want you to consider whether or not this is true for you. Again, this is just you know what I've learned, and um, you can you can take it or leave it. Uh, but there are three things that she said to really know when you're when you've healed from grief, when you when you feel like you've resolved your grief, and she said, one, is that when you think of your loved one, you can remember them with more love than with pain. And my question for you, is that true for you? Can you think of your, of your loved one right now, the person that you're grieving or the people that you're grieving? And, and when you think of them, is it really just overwhelming pain that you're experiencing or, or is it love first and then pain because you really want to get to the point where you're feeling love first and then you remember the pain because you miss them because you want them to be here with us because you you know you miss all the things that you used to be able to do together or you're going to miss the things that you were you know hoping the moments that you were hoping to have that that have been taken away so the first one is remembering your loved one with more love than pain the second one is being able to accept your loss and the changes that are the result of the loss. So, you know, do you, are you in denial or are you past denial? Have you come to accept that, yes, you have to do this grief thing. You're not trying to avoid it anymore. You're stepping into your grief. You know you need to get through it. Um, because as Earl Grohman says, the only cure for grief is to grieve. And so, you know, are you stepping into your grief? That would be one. And then, are you okay with the changes, right? Because life changes. We all have these, you know, thoughts when we talk about our loved ones. We can we can look at it on a timeline and we have these moments that we say, well, that happened before the loss and then this happened after my loss. And so we use the loss as a, as a moment in time that we delineate um, to remember things. And so are you okay with the changes that have resulted uh, because of your loss? And then third, can you find moments of joy and happiness again? Are you starting to feel happy again? Do you, do you understand that you can, you can be sad and you can feel the pain of grief, but you can also experience joy and happiness sometimes in the same moment? Um, and if you've experienced that and you understand that and believe that you can be happy again, and you're okay with being happy again. And that's what you want. 
Uh, when you get to those three things, then I think your grief is resolved. So I hope that helps you. I want to remind you um, to get a copy of the book that I just published on Amazon called A Grief Journal. I'm gonna be doing some videos to, um, to teach you how to use the journal most effectively because that journal is designed to help you move through your grief and help you move forward to get to a place of healing. And then um, we're also going to, I'm gonna do some videos where we work on it together and um, you know, maybe drop in my Facebook group where we could do it live together. Um, my Facebook group is Grief Inspired, No One Should Grieve Alone. So if you haven't checked that out and you are a Facebook user, please drop into that group because I would love to have you um, participate there. And the idea there is to be able to openly share um, and communicate with other people um, in, that, in that format because there's different social media formats that, that work for all of us. So thank you so much. As always, send me your questions, your comments. Um, you can email me at griefinspired at gmail.com. I answer every email, um, or at least that's my mission, is to answer every email and to comment on, on everyone else's comments uh, and to answer all of your questions because all questions are important. Um, your comments, you leaving comments is a way for you to help heal yourself. Um, so I wanna encourage you to do that more for you than for me, um, but it also, you know, I want you to know that your comments help other people too. So again, thanks so much for watching. I hope this was a, a little dose of motivation and inspiration for you and just hang in there because you can do this thing and together we're gonna get through this grief. Take care everybody, bye-bye.